Hello, grade threes. Welcome to math for today. So yesterday we were talking about four different ways you can show multiplication to help you understand better what it actually means. We talked about number lines, which is basically just skip counting and showing how many jumps you've made. So in this case, two jumps, counting by threes, takes you to the number six. Two times three is six. There's equal groups. Two in each group, three different groups. Then you count the stars and you get six. Back to arrays, which we spent some time on. We have two rows, three columns, and if you count the dots, we have six. Finally, repeated addition. If you take the first number and add it the number of times the second number says, in this case three, two plus two plus two equals six. Let's try it with a bigger number today. So six times five. Now the answer is right here because we're not trying to figure out the answer. I'm showing you ways to understand it. So that's not a mistake, just in case you were wondering. Now you'll notice I've got this big arrow here. That's because I could not fit this huge number line in this itty bitty box. So it's down here. Let's take a look. The first number again shows us how many jumps we're going to make. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six jumps. The second number shows how we're skip counting, in this case by fives. So that's pretty easy. We go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So as you can see, we get to the correct answer, which is 30. Equal groups. So I've used stars again. I had to make them quite a bit smaller. You can't even see the yellow anymore. So the first number shows how many will be in each group. So as you can see in each oval, there are six stars. The second number shows us how many groups we will have, in this case, five. So there's one, two, three, four, five groups, six in each group. Now, if you were to count all of the stars, you would then see that there are 30 stars here. You haven't learned how to count by sixes, but just to show you what that looks like, it's six, 12, 18, 24, 30. All right, let's move over to arrays here. The first number shows how many rows. The second number shows the number of columns. And if you count all the dots, which we could do counting by fives, which is just like here, it will be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And again, we get to our correct answer. Finally, we have repeated addition. So the first number is the number that you repeat. The second number shows how many times you have to add it. So we have five sixes here. See that one, two, three, four, five of the number six. And you add it together. Six plus six plus six plus six plus six. That will equal to 30. So these all have things in common. You've probably noticed a little bit of overlap as I talked about them. For example, here I counted by fives. We also count by fives on the number line. Here I counted by sixes. You could do the same thing with adding. It's the same idea. These are just different ways to understand multiplication and also to figure out the answer if you haven't memorized it yet. I showed you a method for counting on your fingers with skip counting, but for example, if you don't know how to skip count by the number, or if you've forgotten the numbers that come in that order, these are different ways that can help you figure it out. So, your homework for the weekend is not to figure out the answer to this question. As you see, I've already given it to you. Your job for this weekend is to show multiplication in these four different ways. So first of all, you're going to show it on the number line. Remember, the first number is how many jumps. The second number is what you're skip counting by. So I hope you remember how to skip count by fours. You're going to need it. Next, equal groups. Remember, the first number shows how many in each group. The second number shows the number of groups. Then we're going back to arrays. I want you to make an array of three rows and four columns. 
You don't have to do circles. I just like how neat it looks, but you can use any shape you want as long as it's set up in an array format. And finally, I want to see repeated addition. I want you to see the three and add it four times. So that is your job for this weekend. If you do this and write it down on a paper, you can take a picture of it and send it to me in one of the ways I've outlined. I hope that you have some fun trying this out. Have a great weekend.